Hey, how's it guys? Welcome to another episode of Big John's Wine Adventures. And today, I am taking you on a food tour glore. And I'm gonna show you guys Kapahulu Avenue, which is the street that I'm on right now. This street provides so many nice local restaurants at reasonable prices than any other street in town in Honolulu. And it is right next to Waikiki. And I'm gonna show you some of the best restaurants on the strip. And I'm gonna start with Leonard's Bakery right behind me, which is one of the most famous bakeries in Hawaii. And they have been open since 1952. And they're famous for their malasadas, which are these Portuguese donuts. Very delicious. So let me go ahead and show you and take you guys inside. So come with me on another episode of Big John's Wine Adventures. Let's go. So you got the original, which is the classic one with no filling inside. You got one with cinnamon. You got one with lihing mui, which is a dried plum powder, kind of gives it a salty, tangy taste. Then you got the one with custard filling, the bosch, which is chocolate, halpia, which is coconut. And then you also have macadamia filling and guava. I like the macadamia the best. And you also have the flavor of the month, which is different every month. And this month they have the purple yam. So once you order, you just wait for your number to be called. And one thing you gotta know about these malasadas is you have to eat them right away. They're only good when they're hot and fresh. Once it cools down, it kind of loses the flavor. So you wanna eat it right away. All right, and here it is, guys. Oh, the famous Leonard's malasada. Let's go ahead and take a bite before it cools down. Mmm. Mmm. That's some good malsada. Now you don't want to take a too big of a bite, then it gushes out and gets all over your clothes. Well, if you don't care, then it's okay. Mmm. Oh, delicious. guys so I am here now at the next spot at Sweetie's Cafe and this place is really popular for breakfast so I would highly recommend coming here for breakfast now they do have a lot of tables but it gets very busy so sometimes you might have to wait a little bit uh, I believe it's uh, first come first serve but uh, this place is really famous for their egg benedicts so I would highly recommend the egg benedict here and that's what I got today I got the traditional egg benedict and uh, also their uh, French toast. And I got the stuffed banana and cream cheese French toast and uh, that's what I'm going with today. So yeah, can't wait.
again. All right, guys, so next up on the list, we have Ono Seafood right here on Kapahulu Avenue. Now, if you ask any locals where's the best place to get poke in town, they'll usually tell you Foodland, the grocery store. Now, Foodland poke is pretty good, but I actually prefer Ono Seafoods. The ahi poke here is out of the world. And also, uh, another uh, popular spot that a lot of locals like go to is Tamura's. But uh, since we're here on Kapahulu Avenue, I'm gonna show you guys Ono Seafood. So come and check it out. Spicy ahi poke bowl, uh, regular, uh, with white rice. And can I also get a quarter pound of the miso uh, taco? Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. just got two of my favorite things from Ono Seafood, which is the uh, miso taco, which is octopus, and the spicy ahi poke bowl, which is basically poke and rice. And you can get it either white rice or brown rice, and medium size or large size. So I got the medium size, and uh, yeah, this is my favorite poke place in town. And this place has been around since uh, 1995, and Ono uh, in Hawaiians mean delicious. Let's try some of this delicious poke. guys so next up we got Tang Kai Pen this is my favorite Japanese ramen restaurant right here behind me so this is what I would recommend if you guys want to eat some Japanese ramen and uh, it is once again on the same strip Kapahulu Avenue and uh, when I come here I usually get the spicy miso ramen and that's what I'm getting today and I would also recommend the spicy tan tan ramen if you like peanut butter they use peanut butter broth so it's really good so come with me and uh, let's check it out.
All right, guys, so we made it to our final location. This is number five of the top five cheap local eats near Waikiki, and this is Rainbow's Drive-In. And Rainbow's is famous for plate lunch, which is very common in Hawaii, which basically consists of a main dish like teriyaki chicken or barbecue pork ribs with two scoops of rice and mac salad. Now, I don't know what it is, but everything in Hawaii comes with two scoops of rice and mac salad. And this place is famous for, well, the two most popular items is one, the boneless chicken with the gravy all over it. That's how you gotta order it. You gotta put the gravy on that thing all over it. And the other one uh, is the uh, mixed plate, which is a uh, bit of everything. And uh, today I'm gonna get the uh, boneless chicken plate with gravy. Can I get the uh, boneless chicken plate with uh, gravy all over? And can I also get the red drink? The red drink? The, the red punch? Oh, what size? The drink? Small, medium? Uh, medium. Okay. And there it is, my friends. Boneless chicken plate with gravy all over. Oh, man. There's a couple of other places that uh, I want to include as well. That's on the street, Kapahulu Avenue. But uh, either one, they're closed, they're only open for dinner, or two, I ain't got a whole lot of room left in my stomach. I'm pretty full, guys. And those are, uh, just down the street here, uh, you got Tamafuji's Tonkatsu. So if you're a fan of Tonkatsu, uh, that's one of the best Tonkatsu places in town. And they're famous for their katsu sandwich, which is this deep fried pork cutlet sandwich. And that's also their lunch special. So if you go there for lunch, you can get that for cheap. Uh, another one that's actually closer to Leonard's, uh, which is the, uh, you know, at the beginning of the road. Um, not that far from Leonard's, actually right across from Leonard's Bakery, you have uh, Glad Yaktori, which is um, Japanese style uh, barbecue skewers. Uh, we call them meat sticks here. Uh, but yeah, those are pretty good. And that's kind of like drinking food. So if you guys want, you know, uh, have a few beers and have some skewers that would be the place uh, once again it's called glad yakitori and the other place um, that uh, I wasn't able to go because they're closed right now they're only open for dinner they open up at 5 p.m. and that's Uncle Bo's Uncle Bo's uh, Poo Poo Bar and Grill uh, Poo Poo in Hawaiian means appetizer so don't let that confuse you that's what they're famous for so if you guys do go there stick to the appetizers don't get any, any uh, entrees in fact when you get the menu uh, on the first page you'll see Poo Poo's and the best appetizers have a little heart logo next to them and uh, those are the uh, chef's recommendations so I recommend just getting a bunch of those and share that's the best way uh, Uncle Bo he's uh, pretty famous here uh, that's his own restaurant and it's a steak seafood and pasta fusion type restaurant and their cocktails are really good too some people actually just go there for the drinks so I would also recommend uh, getting some cocktails if you guys go there and uh, once again uh, they open up at uh, 5 p.m. And if you guys want to try traditional, authentic Hawaiian food, real Hawaiian food, I would also recommend uh, Haley's, Haley's Foods, and uh, Da Ono. And they're kind of next to each other, so you can try a bit of both if you like. And that's it for me, guys, because I am pretty stuffed. I don't think I can have another bite of anything. But uh, that's just uh, my uh, take on the top five cheap local eats near Waikiki. And once again, they're all on the same street, Kapahulu Avenue. And if you guys want to see more of these episodes, if you guys want to see more about the island of Oahu, and uh, like and subscribe, follow me, and I will have more episodes for you guys uh, pretty shortly here. So stay tuned. 
and thank you. Mahalo nui loa and aloha.